Hello, everybody. This is Kung Fu Benji. Today, I want to share my DIY with you. From the traditional Wuyan style to the Mongol style, to the Western style, to the Chinese 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 style, 那记得要有一个马达、一个滤芯跟一个臭氧。臭氧其实对人体有害，要等它散掉。每个人的空间不一样，我们这边的空间要十二个小时才会散掉。好，那现在跟着我进去漂浮室去学习如何调配漂浮水。功夫版剧。Hello everybody. Today we're going to be making flotation tank water. This is the flotation tank we're using. We just have a basic motor, filter, and O3 ozonator. We have a place where the water enters and where it goes back to the pool. These are the electrics here. This first red one is the motor. And the yellow one connects to the ozonator. Finally, the green one is for. The water bed heaters, and it is connected to Himalayan salt lamp. Turn it off. It goes off. The heater's on. Then salt lamp goes on. And the reason we do this is so that we know that the water bed heaters are on or off. This is the empty tank. This is where the water comes out. This is where the water comes in. We have 16 bags of salt. Each bag has 25 kilos. Day one, we only need five bags. We first have to add water before we add the salt. We might need to change the faucet head. I have a special head that you connect the water hose to. So you just make that little change there. Put the water hose into the flotation tank. There it is. Turn on the cold water. Hot water melts the liner, makes the hole, and that's a problem, especially if it's a cheap liner. Okay, so you see how much water do I want to add? Yes, I want to add to the 10 centimeter mark. Okay, so the water is there. Now we need to turn on the motor. Before we do that, we have to prime the motor. So we have to fill up. The pipes full of water. Okay, turn on the motor and see how it works. You will see that the water is going in on one side; it's going out on the other. That is what we want. Okay, so now we start to add the salt. This some bags have pieces that are hard inside. You have to be careful. Set them down very easily. You don't want them to cause damage to your line. Now we're just throwing all the salt in one bag after another until we get all five bags into the tank. We will see that the salt is all on one side and there's water on the other side. It doesn't dissolve itself. You have to get in, mix it all around. It's a lot of work. Yes, that's what's going on. Sometimes with the harder pieces, you have to you know crunch up into small pieces. And just crush as the best you can. Okay. You see salt on the bottom. Sometimes you scoop it up and、uh, you try to dissolve it the best you can. Keep the salt off the water bed heaters if you can. Turn on the water bed heaters and you leave. Day two. Again, we only need five. So we didn't do such a good job of keeping the salt off the water bed heaters, and we have some crystallization problems. When it crystallizes over the water bed heaters, heat can't penetrate through this crystallized cover, so it cannot heat up the tanks. A lot of the salt doesn't get dissolved.、We、must first clear away the crystallization. Try to dissolve it the best we can. Turn on the motor to help you out. Whatever you can do to help dissolve that salt, and then you start adding. The second day salt. These really hard pieces of salt. Sometimes when you put them in the water, you will see that they are bubbling. The more bubbling, the better because they dissolve faster.、It's、better that you put them harder pieces in areas where they're surrounded by water and not other salt. That is the best. So bubbling is normal. And again, you have to get in there and mix it around. And you want to keep it off the water bed heaters. This time we're going to do a good job of that. Basically, we do the same thing all three days. See after the water settles, the salt is not on the water bed heaters. All right, this is day three, the last six bags. So you see, the water bed heaters are safe. We'll see if the water is hot on one side, cold on the other side. We just mix it up, and a lot of it dissolves very easily. And we turn on the motor, it helps mix it up a little bit better. Okay, now most of the salt has been dissolved. We will put in the rest. We're going to put five bags. We'll leave one bag behind. Again, the really hard pieces you want to put down slowly. All right, careful of the liner. All right, so we got all the salt in. You see, the water has made it to 20 centimeters, but it's not enough. We can go to 25. So we can turn on the hot water now. Told you not to do it before, but now that we have a whole tank full of water, it's okay. So we bring the cold parts of salt. 
to the mouth of the hose of hot water and they will dissolve. Yes, it's that simple. This is the cheat. You can add hot water all the way to 25 centimeters. And if any crystallization, put it in the bucket and you'll see it will dissolve with the hot water. So now we've made it to the 25 centimeter mark. As much water as we want. And yes, then we give it a good mix. We mix up and dissolve what we can. Now day four. And then we get in the tank and try to float. Floating very well, but why is the last bag of salt there? It's in case the surface of the water is too close to the corner of your eye to add that last bag. But if you feel like it's very far away from the corner of your eye, there's no need. And that is why there are 16 bags. You have a tank with water that is floatable. Everything is good. Now you know how to make flotation tank water.